and good evening, or where there it is. <laughs> I don't even know where the camera is. So let's go off with another stream where this was. <laughs> this image is from Star Citizen. Um, one of my peeps on Discord posted it. Who was that? Quincy Forder um, posted it and said, "Hey, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe make this." And I'm like, mm "Okay." Okay, okay, okay. And so we are. All right. Let me get rid of my phone. And we're live. We sure are. Okay. So this is what we're going to be creating. It's going to be working on. Oh, that was you. Oh, well, there you go. Delightful. See? A man of my word. Quincy. <laughs> hey, Quincy. So let's go ahead and see how we can create this. Now, I've already imported a character that we're going to be using as a template. A funky pants. Welcome. <laughs> It's Sunday night, all right? It's uh, It's been a long week, and let's just kind of like get into it. So first up, oh my goodness, there was already s someone has subscribed. Jeez, Marco, Sergio, um, welcome. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so now, speaking of Discord, I've had an idea for an idea. I've had an idea for something. What are you guys thinking about maybe we make like a uh, community Greeble set? So maybe every week, every fortnight, Destin, welcome. Every um, fortnight or maybe every week, we just compile a Greeble set based off a topic and then we share it out. Now, but within the file, what we'll do is we will list everyone's names and maybe kind of like a social media handle or something within the file so that when people download those files, they can actually see who made it and they can go to their Instagram page, their YouTube page, blah, blah, blah. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon that's that might be a good idea? Because we were having a chat uh, in Discord about it. And uh, that's the idea that I've kind of pulled out. Are we Are we keen? Should I start organizing something like this? Bonjour, sir. Bonjour. <laughs> Welcome. Because <laughs> um, I think it's I think it's a good idea. Uh, if I go... I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to make these floorboards now. I'm trying to think, what's the best way? Destin, yes. I've already mentioned you, mate. Okay. Uh, let's press I. And what we're going to do now is just going to quickly create these individual panels. Something like that. Control I to invert the selection. Delete vertices. Can you delete edges. Uh, to make a Fortnite island with UFE, UEFN. What's UEFN? Maybe engine parts. What are you referring to, buddy? Yes, agreeable. Yes, agreeable collection. There we go. Because uh, this came from you, Spooky. What we were talking about earlier. Um, that you felt like you wanted to try and do something to challenge yourself. And I'm like, yeah, right. Let me let Marco think about this a little bit. And then that's kind of like the idea that's come out of the brain. All right. So where are we now? So I'm just quickly showing you. So this is where we're at. I'm just going to create this bottom floor here first. And then we're going to kind of like wrap around uh, 0.02, 0.05. Yeah, there we go. So now we've kind of got those plates. Destin, mate, I've already done it. Hi. <laughs> uh, from here, let's kind of go maybe up half a meter. Because um, it is kind of like as if it's a truck or something. Beldis, Beldos, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The idea of making an island with Unreal Editor. <sighs> mm. I mean, Unreal Editor, Unreal Engine does have kind of like a painting tool. Um, I have used it in the past, not for a while though. Mm, I do like that. And then that's kind of like the border. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I've touched it. Uh, mainly because I don't do much Unreal Engine anymore. Um, it is. Like, the one thing that I was trying to make was what I'd like to make is some sort of like mobile games or something in Unreal Engine, but you just can't because it's it's not going to work. Even stripped down to the barest of barest of assets, uh, GZ1, 
it was still kind of like six gig. Apparently I haven't learned English yet. That's and you don't speak Russian. Sorry, mate. Well done. No worries. <laughs> Thanks, Roman. Much appreciated that you at least stopped by. I'm I am pretty grateful. I am. Let's put an edge loop here. So I'm just gonna work on this bit. Now we're gonna probably just grab the main layout of this and kind of then build on it. Does that work? Yeah, it would work. Oh my goodness. The stream. Absolutely. The Pistons, your ship is looking amazing. Pretty freaking jealous, Spooky. Um, I have been streaming a lot more on Discord. And yeah, uh, Spooky and I have been having really good chats about stuff, so on and so forth. And uh, I hate everything that he's creating because it looks sick. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> Like that we don't have greebles for concrete metal support pillars. Yeah. So this is I'm gonna come up with ideas. Um one of the ideas is you know how we made that marketplace? Maybe just a whole bunch of greebles that we can put as assets on that um greeble set. On the um like in the marketplace. Who just joined? Oh no, that was that. Cool. I've lost my track of thought. Okay, yes. So let's kind of maybe look at this. Um let's come over here to here. Nice. And then underneath, we will kind of create something in there. This will become, yeah, let's uh, let's work on the next bit. So I'm gonna go shift A, cube. We're gonna go about here-ish. Scale on the Z, G to the Z. Where are we? Let's go something like that there, just nice. Um, are you going for a corridor? It's gonna be more of an open environment. Don't forget I gave the first tip. <laughs> um, it's going to be more of an open environment. I'm not going for a corridor at all. Um, I'm more always kind of thinking of what assets I can make for the web series that I'm developing. That it is it is coming along. It is. I can tell you now, it is coming along. It's just going to take stinking time. But we will get there in the end. Oh, I like the fact that there's a door there. That's kind of cool. Um, but for now, we're just going to be kind of blocking out the scene. I feel that this could be bigger, uh, but we're not going to worry about that now. Scale 0.25, and we're going to go about back into edit mode, probably about here-ish. Yeah, here. Yeah. Maybe we go like that. And I'm just going to try and make everything as nice as possible. 0.3. Let's go minus 0.3. Point three. Mm, no, let's undo all that. Slick that scale by two. And so now we've got this kind of like meter wide block. However, we might still just bring it in ever so slightly. Let's go GS five meters high. Nice. Um, and then with this section here, let's, you know what? Let's try and make it module. Hey, Mr. Emerges here. Mad Mouse content is here. Welcome, my work. Alex, the reference looks like an... Yes. So, the question... I'm, hmm, I'm not going for... Um, like a cargo base and a giant ship. It's more going to be on like a planetary um, entrance. So, for instance, over here is going to be the main entrance. So, if we kind of go here... Uh, this space over here is going to be kind of like that main entrance and in here is going to be kind of like the docks and blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of where, all right. So let's go ahead and maybe make this into modular blocks, I reckon, just to make life a little bit easier. And then we can use arrays. Okay. Let's go something like this. And then we're going to go one. And then we're gonna go minus one. And now this is our block. So if I were to come down to here now, let's have a look into doing an array. Uh, not that way, that way. One, that's four, good try. Bump, 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 bump. Nice. Uh, so a space warehouse garage, yes. Let's go with that. Uh, posted a concept of the Liberator on Discord. That's right. I like sci-fi stuff as well. <laughs> um, for here, 
Um, I will throw a bevel in, but we're going to bring that up to the top there. And it's going to be like a 0.02 maybe. And then we can kind of see how we're developing all that system. This here should probably be its own piece. Let's just go Control L, Control I, delete vertices, GY. Now the reason why this is, well done, have a stroke, mate. Why I'm having doing this modular is because then we can obviously export it into like Unreal Engine or we can use it later on in a different system um, and just kind of optimize what we're doing. Zero and one. Uh, ba, ba, ba. You no longer are like that. So let's get rid of the mirror modifier. Let's go Alt D, scale X minus one. And we will snap that puppy over there. Cool of beans. Uh, I need to do more sci-fi stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Sci-fi stuff is always the bee's knees. Let's go five, five. Um, I do want to duplicate this one. I'm going to go G to the Y. What are we doing here? I want to get rid of this array and what this piece is going to be is something like that, something like that. However, we're going to deselect this back face and then I'm just going to move it ever so slightly. Let's go G X point one. Nice. So there we have something like that. Reverse scale. Yeah. Scale is a little. No okie dokie. Um, from here, we've obviously got a bit of a ramp that we can make. So let's make that as maybe a three by six. I will actually come back. Dobro dan, Vladimir. Dobro večer, zamene, zato je pol desert. Uh, after I do a zombie, I will move on to fitting out my house ship. House ship. Interesting. I like the sound of that. Um, from here, we've got this. Let's kind of make it a little bit more unique. I'm going to put an edge loop through here. Let's maybe go like so. I'm going to select this top section. And then we're just going to delete face. <laughs> Control I, delete faces. And we're going to make this a little bit more of a um, I beam but then we're going to put crud in the middle. So now if we select that, E to extrude minus 10 on the Z. It's a little bit too far, Marco. GZ5, GZ1 minus, what the? Sure, whatever floats your boat. All right, so we've got that there. Um, and let's, I'm going to bring it down. Well, actually, I'll bring it up by 0.5. And then I'm actually just going to bring this down to about five. From here, I'm going to go Shift D G Z, and we'll bring it about there. Excuse that image. And then this is the point where we're going to move it over. So let's go. What do we reckon? Something like that. So now you can see that we're starting to get modular pieces, and then we can start snapping it all together as we go. Listen in the car. <laughs> Pods and lost in space. 4K, no spaceship shuttle type thing. What? I don't know. Uh, what is what is this? Some kind of armory. You're kind of like a cargo hold. Yeah, the resolution of this image is off tap. More inspiration. Great work. Thanks, James. James A. Hey. <laughs> um, from here... I'm going to grab these and we're going to move it over to about there. And so we're going to have this nice little walkway that goes into a door. And we can see that we've got kind of like this half block of doors. I reckon, I reckon I'm going to delete that. Shift D. Let's snap that over. Let's get rid of this array. GZ. GZ.5, there we go. And then 
with this, I'm gonna go Shift D, just move it over. So we are focusing mainly on making this as modular as possible so that these assets can be reused. Um, once this scene is built, probably, mm, I don't know, we'll see how far we can get it tonight. This will probably end up on Patreon and we'll throw on some other things. Kanye, welcome, mate. Uh, this will end up on Patreon as well because, um, yeah. Let's go like that. So that's scale of 0.1, scale Y 0.25. And all I'm going to do is line this up. So it's about here. Let's put that one there, that one there, that one there. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I think if anything, GZ, we need to go something like this. I mean, that's only 0.1 What's the height of an average step? Um, height of a average step. Michael, do you happen to have a sc oh, screen? Yes, screencast keys. Sorry, I will do it. No, centimeters. I don't want inches. The average uh, uh, staircase. Staircase step. 24. All right. To make life easier, we're going to just make it at... I don't know. It says 24. 24 sounds a little bit better. We are going to make it just 20, just to make life a little bit easier. Let's go GZ.1. GZ Control L. GZ minus 0.1. That face. That face. Is there a face? There is no face. Okay. That would make sense why that was not working. GZ, 0.1 to the minus. And then that bit there is just going to be kind of like the top plate where everything is. So it's going to be a bit of a half step. Like that. Let's go. Let's go like this. G to the X. Snap that in. So a very basic step. Let's kind of go back through and decorate this a little bit later. But for now, because it all snaps, that's where that piece is going to go. Plasticity. Mmm. But $99 ain't beating the free version of Fusion 360. Yeah. I do all my 3D printing in... Ah, oh, so for those of you who have not, aren't following me on Instagram... I actually need my headphones back on. I made a little device for funsies. This is a shut the heck up 1000. All right. So if we plug it in like so, I'm assuming the lights have turned on. And uh, if we go a little bit loud, oh, is it working? Hey. Hey. Oh, come on. See, now I can't be too loud because I got people sleeping. Come on. Screencast. <laughs> Screencast keys, there you go. Uh, yeah, I can't be too loud. So this is more for my son. Uh, he can get pretty loud. But yeah, I don't want to be too loud. But yeah, you can smack yourself in the head. So if you talk real loud. Did I? <gasps> I broke a wire. Oh. No, 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 no! Okay, cool. Never mind. I need to fix that up by tomorrow. Is that a homemade infrared thing? No, 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 no. That was more for, um, yes, yeah, sound. <laughs> I've got a video on Instagram for those of you who are interested. And uh, my shoddy cabling has now broken, which, uh, why? So. One thing I've noticed here already is on this plate here. This isn't actually two meters, unfortunately, because I did scale it in. So if we kind of... Uh, actually, if we select everything and then we go right-click, snap to grid. No, Shift-S, selection to grid. 
I hate you. Right click, shift S, selection to grid. There we go. All right. That's given us that. We know the tiles are now the right sides. Let's do the same thing here. Side view, right click, nope, shift S, selection to grid. Nice. There we go. Um, so all this is all snappity snap snap. What I do want to do is if we pull back here a little bit, I'm going to make two, shift D, let's go G to the Y. Um, bring, actually, bring it down by one, shift D Y, and then we'll do three. I'm going to come in here and we're going to kind of fix up this plate, give it a little bit of extra love. And for those of you who have been following me for quite some time, know what I'm probably going to be doing. Control B. Let's not do that. Control B. And then we're going to grab these interior faces, scale onto the X, something like so. Um, but what we will do is I'm going to grab the... Let's grab these four points. Shift D, G, Z. I'm going to create an F. G, Z, snap that back down. Let's do an E to extrude. Maybe to about there. And that's just giving it a little bit of definition. We'll probably come in and then go like that. All right. Beautiful. Love it. That looks grouse. Definitely under here, we need to create some sort of um, supporting structures. So maybe we go ahead and create that one now. So something like this. What is the best way to do this? I'm going to scale X 0.2. From here, I'm going to delete this back face. Nope. Delete these vertices. Let's go GZ. I'm just going to bring that up. GZ1. So now this is the only thing that we've got to work with. Um, who are all watching while making their own models? Yes, that'd be awesome. Poke an eye out. It doesn't come near your eye. It just hits you on the head. <laughs> um, let me just bring up the Insta. Bring up that as well. Um, if I jump over into this thing, that's me. Come on. If I go right click, can I share this? Shush. Copy, 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 copy link. There we go. Go have a watch of that. All right. So from here, we need to create. Now there's going to be a top section. So this is going to be the top bar. Um, from here, this will become the bottom section. Like so. Let's make sure that's lined up on the point eight. Keep everything uniform. Um, hmm. like this, let's go like that, control B, hold guitar, and then we're going to go from here. So I'm just kind of like outlining, outlining everything we're going to be doing. So it's going to be something like this, might as well just grab that, and then we can redo our triangles. Welcome, who's that? The ghost in the machine. Welcome to the channel. I'm watching while my updating the add-ons. Oh my goodness. I, mm, <laughs> so many add-ons. Uh, from here, I'm just trying to think what is the best way to do this? So I need to grab that. And so that needs to be at point two. This needs to come up to about here. Oops, let's go. Let's go like this. Control R, snapping. Point two. Control R, point two. This goes that way. This goes that way. This goes that way. This goes that way. Mm, no. Point two, point two, point two. Point two. Where's this meant to go? Why? Here? Okay, let's do that. About there. Delete these edges. Delete face. All right. Let's get rid of... Oh, that's what it is. GG. So all I'm doing right now is lining it up 
to create some sort of um, that seems off yeah go go there no there yeah there there we go um, minus point four and I'm gonna guess you're meant to go to point four and now that should be all straight but you're not because this one over here should be about here probably could have just mirror modified everything point six that's pretty much what I'm after let's do a V to rip and this pa this piece here was going to be my main uh, support beam and then this section under here G you know what let's rip these two as well and then we're going to grab that G snap like that and then I can grab this section let's just move you in E to extrude something like that I feel though this should be GG okay we'll do it manually should be something like that nice um, let's just move it kind of more into the middle about there and then what this will allow us to do is not that so we'll undo that just kind of try to line everything up GG I hate you Ah, let's go merge by distance because I haven't done that because there's just so many duplicate vertices now. GG. I can I know how to click GG. Select all merge by distance. Let's put an edge loop through here, edge loop through here. Select them both of them. Control B. Noise. Um yeah, sing something. Uh no, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Let's go E to extrude and then we'll scale along the X. Nice. And then that's kind of given us that eye beamy feel. My kid is listening to me in the car and he just asks, why are they only talking? We're not really singing. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know any songs, especially creation ones. I did write a creation one back in the day. The... I do more peaches, peaches, <laughs> millions of peaches. Uh, the I do more, we do more, I do more, we do more. Riba, riba. That's, uh, that's me when I was 10 years old making up songs. <laughs> it's just about going to look at fish. Um, and the way that came up was we were in um, a place called Samabor in Croatia which is kind of like the outskirts of uh, Zagreb, which is the capital of Croatia. And Bob Jog 4, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and it was, there was a river there and there was kind of like fish. And I'm like, you know, I'm not used to seeing fish in a river, which sounds stupid, I know, but actually, no, that's legit. I wasn't used to seeing fish in a river. And so that was, uh, yeah, that was the song that came out. And I would sing that everywhere and annoy mum. It was great. <laughs> and if she was here, I'm sure she would tell you. Yes, it was very annoying. <laughs> I mean, on the stream. Yeah, she's still alive. She's just not here. She's singing if I was a fish. I don't know if I was a fish. Uh, yes, perfect. So you can kind of see how this is all coming about. Let's now go ahead and maybe make this section now, obviously, this is, you know, when you're thinking about this specifically, this is more for a loading area. Did I just come here to talk about Croatia? Filip, welcome. Dobrodan. Verbancic. Dobrodan, dobrovecher. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> uh, let's go shift A. Oh, jeez, I'm getting distracted. Um, hey. Awesome. I got a subscribe from you. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I am the goal. My goal. My my goal. I gotta say this quietly because my wife can hear. My goal is to get a get an animated short film into the Creation Film Festival, and then poof, I'm on the other side of the world, buddy. I'm in. I mean, I'm in Croatia. I'm in uh, Australia. 
in Australia, mate. Um, but yes, that is the goal to one day get a film into an international film festival and go, oh no, I have to travel. <laughs> Bruno, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, sorry. So that that is the ultimate dream. Let's go uh, negative one. Whoops. Beautiful. Oh, that fits so nicely. So this bit here is obviously going to be the... 0.02. This is going to be the section kind of like where the truck would back up. Um, and this is where we'd make some like individual pieces in here. Bobby, this is the way. <laughs> I, uh, I've i done that uh, many times. Delete the default cube. Shift D to the X. Let's go scale X minus one. Bring that in. You can kind of see we're, we're still fairly much into that blocking stain. How long have we been working with Blender? Years. Donkey's years. It, yeah, it's been like 11 plus years. Easy. Easy. Always start with a fresh cube. Absolutely. You get the default cube, you delete that default cube. That doesn't belong in your scene. <laughs> um... So here we'll probably create some sort of light. <clears throat> and then this section here as well. Let's go Alt D. Um, rotate minus. We'll go something like that. And then this is what it's going to roughly look like. This is the section here where we can maybe grab whoops, this, this, and this. No, actually, I don't need to grab that. I'll grab this and this this and this shift d to the x and there we go because everything is modular it's just all going to just snap together excellent um beautiful i'm fairly chuffed with how that looks <clears throat> excuse me um from here let's just continue to finish out this layout scale x minus one g to the x noise it's very stale <laughs> It's better than Susan. Yeah, it's like 22-year-old. It is. I first touched Blender. Wouldn't you make it a collection of this? I probably will, yeah. Um, so I'm going to create the scene first and then kind of like break it apart um, and almost like work backwards on that. Um, what? Yeah, I first touched Blender in 2000. And I think one or 2002, something like that. Because I was at a friend's place and they're like, hey, you got to check this out. And I'm like, okay. And uh, I was hooked. I was hooked. I know what I wanted to make. Marcus Newcastle, welcome. I was going to say, could you possibly be from Newcastle? Newcastle Knights? But I'm going to guess not. Because that would be just amazing. <laughs> Let's grab that piece, shift D to the X, cool. So this is very much a nice, um, like rampy ramp ramp bit. That section there needs to be fixed up. Let's go ahead and now work on what this ramp's gonna look like. Now we'll work on it. I'm just trying to think what's the best way. Let's go shift A, plane. G, Y, X, scale, uh, two, 2.5, three, there we go. Let's move that to the edge now. Um, from here, so we're building up this ramp now. We want it to go, how high is it going? It is, whoops, ah! Ah! Well done, Marco. You know shortcut keys. Let's go G. It is going to go to about here. Two, four, six, seven. Let's make it eight. Let's make it six. Two, two, four, five. Let's make it six. Two, four, five. Beautiful. Um, early 2000s for me, yes. Uh, who tried giving Suzanne hair after Blender? No, I haven't bothered trying that. 
I started with a pirated copy of 3ds Max. Do you know what? I opened up a copy of 3ds Max and went, "This isn't for me. <laughs> this is not for me." Minus one. There we go. Uh, actually, no. Let's not extrude that just yet. I'm trying to, th try to think what's the best way. I'm going to go Shift D P separate by selection. Select one of these and just go H. And we're just going to work with the one piece. Let's create something like that, like this. So these bits here are going to be the more solid sections that if there's a vehicle that comes down, that's what it's going to go down on. Um, let's maybe just select both of these. Scale 0.5 on the x-axis, please. Let's just go merge by distance, get rid of any extra vertices. And then for these, let's go scale X 1.5, 1.25. There we go. So that these sections here could almost be empty. So if we select that, hey, what the edge? Edge, is that everything? You clean, you clean. Um, that's where we can go now. E to extrude. Mm, before we do that, I'm going to go like this, like this. Select both of both of these sections. Come on, Marco, you know how to do stuff. Control B, Control B, and then we're just going to grab this, 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 thus, thus, and thus. Um, that's not going to work. No, it's not. We have to do it individually. Uh, scale X, something like that. Let's just go to Control L, delete vertices. And then we'll turn on our mirror modifier. E to extrude something like that. We discussed it before I started working on 3D in Bryce. Yes. Back when, back when I was a kid, I was hoping to make great games. I had all my fresh models used. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I tried to be clean as possible. See ya, Alex. Thank you very much for stopping by, buddy. Ah, see ya to the, the thing or to me? I don't know now. <laughs> and why is there no music coming through? Do I... Marco, have you got the music down? There we go. Listening to myself. And then walk to navigation and create a shortcut. Yes, I... Yes, I have seen that before. I just, I just haven't used it. Um, oops. Actually, that is, that is a good idea. I should probably actually look into that. Let's select both of these. I'm just going to go Control B, middle mouse, bring it back in. Control numpad minus, Alt S, and just bring it in. And that'll give us that kind of like a little bit of an aesthetic in there. Uh, let's go Alt H to unhide. Now we've got this main plate from here. Right click, hmm, I want squares. Hmm, right click subdivide. Let's go I to do an inset. Sorry, computer. Delete faces. E to extrude. <laughs> Something like that. Oof. That's mm. uh, not too bad there. First of all, 95, but then it was developed for Neo Geo. Yeah, was, yeah. where is the navigation thing? What is the first person? How do you get the first person? First person, first person. I know it exists. Uh, view up here. Navigation. Walk. Yeah, there we go. It's like, how you doing, buddy? You good? Oh, also, when you're in this view, you can actually play animations. And so you can actually have a look what the animation would look like. But yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. For some reason. Whoa! What the? Let's not do that. Seems expensive in poly terms. Absolutely, it'll be expensive as, and I'll probably end up turning it into a uh, decal. But just for now, for this scene, not too concerned about it just yet. 
let's go shift D. I'm going to bring that up to there. And then we're just going to move it up GZ.5. And then that'll lock up like so. Um, let's go GX, move that one over. Shift D, bring that one over. Cool. And so we now have to fill in that space. I'm not the biggest fan that it's overlapping. So maybe what we might actually do is select... Let's select all these, go into individual origins. And I'm just going to scale it ever so slightly, a little bit bigger, just so we don't have any of that face clipping. What PC are you running Blender in? I am... I've got an A6000 graphics card. I have... Something. I don't know what my CPU is. What's my CPU? Uh, Ryzen 7 is what I'm rocking. And I recently upgraded memory to 64 gig. Pew, pew. Okay, so I'm fairly chuffed. Jackson, thanks, mate. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yes, sorry. Yes, much appreciated. Howdy, howdy. Welcome to the stream. I thought you were already here. Maybe someone else. Um, cool. Liking how this is looking, I reckon we kind of create another piece that would fit along down the bottom there. What else do we got? We got a gap to fill here. What are the walls going to look like? This is the next question that I have not thought about. Do we just kind of create them as a panel? So with Unreal Engine, um, it is best to have actually solid walls and not... Um, it's best to have solid walls and not just kind of like one face. And that's because... With Unreal Engine, it very much uses um, the normals because if you've got a light behind a object with only one face, the light's going to stream through it. So that's kind of something to keep important. Even if you look at all the uh, meshes created in Unreal Engine, you'll always see the back of it is blocked off. Now, one other thing with Unreal Engine, well, actually, with any modular kits in general, the back face here, you could probably always keep it on zero. So G, Y, X, sorry, point 0.1. Okay, because then if I go ahead and create the front of this wall, and then I need a wall on the other side, you can see now, it doesn't matter that those meshes on the inside are clipping, nobody's going to see it. So just remember that. Uh, textures are for games, for everyone, all you want to do is geometry, yeah. I still will try and bake textures and so on and so forth, purely for the fact is, is I will be rendering this animated web series in NVIDIA Omniverse. Um, so it is going to be actually fairly important for me to create some sort of texture set. Hmm. What, is, what do these walls look like? Let's have a look. Just trying to get ideas on how this is going to look. They've got nice, big, gigantic panels. Yeah, let's kind of go... Let's maybe think about that. So from here, beautiful. I'm gonna go into, let's go to the medium point. I'm gonna scale by two, control A and apply, control Z, control A and apply that scale instantly, or it's gonna screw me over a little bit later. So just kind of keep that in mind. I'm gonna, from here, I'm gonna press I to do an inset and just gonna do a, just a small extrusion in there. From here, I'm going to grab these inside faces. Uh, let's be lazy. If I come up here into select, select similar length. And now, technically, we should have those all selected. Control B to do a bell. And we're going to have something like that. I'm just going to scale that up a little bit. And then we've kind of just got these nice looking panels. Very simple. Nicholas, welcome to the channel. Much appreciated. Um, what was I doing? From here, I'm going to throw in a bevel. And all this bevel is going to do is kind of separate my pieces from each other. So if we go into an array now, uh, zero, one, oops, one. And then we can kind of, I uh, get stuffed. We can start expanding that out. Rotate Z 90 
rotate Z 90 degrees. Let's go G. G. Uh, yeah, I'm always modeling games. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there is, yeah, there's a, there's a team that I'm helping out with their game. Uh, I just saw them on the Unreal Discord and the fact that they've got something that's working already. I'm like, hmm, that's, uh, that's got me interested. So I thought, hey, might as well make some assets for them. Um, and they will probably, I'll probably release them on my Patreon as well. I'll just quickly show you some of the assets that I've been working on. I don't even know a version of Blender I had it open in. Let's just quickly open up Blender. Hey, hey. 3J Ram Clone. Ah, oh, Ram I Clone. Welcome. Uh, chairs in public, desk and screen. So I'm just trying to kind of like create some sci fi assets. Um, still got to add in like keyboards and such, but that was kind of like a little bit of a kiosk that I created. Pretty simple, nothing too dramatic um if spooky is still here i did use a bit of grid modeler in this um, but this is kind of like one of the assets that i've been working on just fun just slap some stuff together um, but i'm pretty much always creating something that i can utilize later does blender 3.6 work well now i am using blender 3.6 i'm using the nvidia omniverse version purely for the fact is because I export all my stuff to NVIDIA. So cool. I am happy with that, how that looks. I think definitely from here, it needs to be open up. Now that I think about it, this whole section needs to come right back and probably needs to have some sort of grand um, door to like another side of the warehouse. Is there a title for that game you're making assets for? It is no. It is for Fortuna Interactive Studios. Can I invite people? I don't know. It's for these guys. Where's the? There is there. There it is. Uh, you should look into modeling add-ons. Like um, I have, like I bought box cutter and all that when it was five bucks. Like, this is how long ago I've had it for. But Box Cutter, Master Xeon really built that uh, hard ops and box cutter to suit his workflow. And I kind of just like re haven't really had a chance to like grow into it. But I mean, tremendous add ons. Absolutely amazing. Because, like, Box Cutter. And I oh, done it. Box cutter and Auto Rig Pro were my first add-ons that I ever bought. This and this was well before Blender Market was even around. I was purchasing this stuff. So yeah, I'm semi prehistoric. I've been around for a while. Cool. Liking that. I reckon we'll probably block that off. This will stay as a door. Let's grab these. Shift D. Actually, why is that? Just bleh, bleh. Let's just do an array. Another array. Minus one. Let's go Shift D. X. Sorry. Dump it in like so. That's a little bit infuriating. But I'm sure we can fix something out with that. Cool. Just going to keep building these assets out nice I really like how that's turning out this section out here probably won't stay as small squares we might even create a whole new s yeah let's do that shift a mesh cube let's go probably about here ish it's gonna be double the size GZ 1.5 is that right that is not right Marco Let's grab these. What the? Ah. Yeah. Let's grab that, that, that. Okay. Let's grab that and that. Let's go tab into edit mode. Sorry, I know that is a ton of vertices I've just picked up. 
when it goes something like this. And then we're just going to move it into something like that. Bam. Excellent. Let's go ahead. Sorry, hang on. I will look at chat in a sec. GZ minus one. GZ point nine. Uh, what is light linking? Huh. Light linking. Yes, sweet. So light linking, I'm going to assume, is when you've got one light and it just connects everything. That's what I'm going to guess. Jeez, that is like so far behind. Oh my goodness, have I been streaming for an hour already? No. Jeez. Almost half. Wow. Uh, aside from putting this scene to Blender, are you going to make cube ashing collections of the assets or add it to existing one? I'll probably just make a brand new one. Um, just because this doesn't really sit with anything that I've got so far. So yeah, I'll probably just make a new one um, and then put it up for free. Or this will be part of that collection that I was talking about earlier where let's make a community one where everyone can put in their own little components and then we can kind of, you know, spread the love, blah, blah, blah. So I think that's probably going to be more beneficial to people to have just a whole bunch of those littler assets. Let's go hide that piece because now that allows me to start doing stuff like if I were to go C, 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 control B. Let's go something like that. Scale shift Z, alt H. Uh, let's go. I mean, technically I should be making like massive decals out of this, but that might be a future Marco thing. Um, and then from here, yeah, I reckon this will end up just a massive get stuff decal. Let's go minus one. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Probably like that. Array modifier. Zero, one. Two, three, four. There we go. And you know what? Ah, darn it. Let's go scale X minus Y minus one, GY. Bring that over to there. I do want just a little bit further. Nice. Is that over by one or a half? I'm trying to work this out. Oh, you daft donkey. Let's grab both of them. GY. Move it by one. We're going to grab both of these, GY. And then we'll create some sort of half blocks here. We still got to come back and fix up these, but you can kind of, we're just looking at the scale now. Um, and then this will, from here, something like that. Rotate Z, G to the X, and we're just going to kind of go like that. Uh, wait. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Okay. So yeah, that sounds, uh, that's pretty interesting. I think lighting is one of those things I need to get better at. Um, but in due time. Okay. Let's go with this Ugh, itchy neck. Let's go to here. Wham. Nope. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. To about there. Um, from here, let's go into, there's going to be like a massive greeble door here. Let's make a bit of a door now. So I'm just going to hide, 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 hide. Let's go shift a cube scale X point one. And we're going to move it to about here. Um, actually, I should be doing everything on the corner because that'll make life a lot easier later on. Okay, let's go GZ. Uh, very bottom corner. We now have that. That is sitting like so. This is going to be our grand kind of 
what do you want to call it? Our grand, what the heck is that line? Oh, you daft idiot. There we go. And GZ4. So this is where our door is going to be. The door in the liberator seems to roll up like a garage door. Yeah, so right here. Let's try and make that a garage door. Just... Um, but over here is kind of going to be, if we have a look... The, I'm going to make this a big cargo door. We can see it's obviously off to the side, so maybe we can even build something like that here. But let's kind of build a default door and then we'll expand on it. First things first though, I do want to build a big get stuffed door. I'm just going to delete these. this back face. Um, let's go into the center. I am thinking probably about, oops, why? Probably about here, get stuffed here. Let's go 10. What's that? Two. Um, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. Let's go four meters high. So it's a big get stuff, plenty of room to get in. And that'll be the end of those faces there. And this is the space that we're going to work with. So let's go something like this, something like that, something like that. Then we can grab these, GG. Nice. Um, let's go P separate by selection and then we can come back to those doors. Oh, far out, itchy neck. I think it's a mozzie or something. GG, GG. Select all, merge by distance. What have we got here? Okay. Shout out to the door and liberate. Yes, Intel GPU you just got hardware ray trace support. Ooh. But then four point will come out in November at the earliest. Mmm, interesting. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's um Yeah. I will probably still stick with NVIDIA. Cause um Point one, no point two. I get staffed. Point two minus merge by distance. Itchy nose. Let's now go ahead and kind of create this edge loop in here. Nope. Fine. Let's go into front view, and I kind of want to create a bit of a barrier. What the heck? Yes, Omniverse. <laughs> I swear there's a mozzie in here, which is really annoying. Um, let's go into Solidify. Nope, 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 nope. Undo, 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 undo. G. Yeah, P, separate by selection. Select that. That. No, that. Let's now go into a Solidify modifier. Noise. Uh, select that. Scale on the X. And then we're going to increase the get stuff size. Let's go one, go the other way. Even thickness, please. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? Something like that. Let's do a control A and apply that solidifier modifier. Select both of these, scale Z zero. Let's go GZ. Let's go control B to do a bevel. And I'm going to grab that. Ooh, let's grab that and that. Scale, scale on the Y. Okie dokie. Let's come up to the top here. Medium point, scale Y. And we'll bring it up like so. Let's select this here. Control B. Let's go. Someone just joined. Welcome to the channel. Let me have a quick look in a sec. Who just joined? Nierby. Two. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How can I upload a character on Blender? What do you mean? What do you mean by character? A, a, a person, person? You just import FBX or OBJ, whatever the character is. Um, 
I doubt 4.0 will come out in November. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. That's to say, several features. Yeah, I look. You know what? I'm not fussed in terms of the versions of Blender that come out. I will just use whatever I'm given, pretty much. Um, unless I've come across like some really get stuffed big problems. Eh, what is? Just deal with it, pretty much. It's my mentality. Um, with NVIDIA Omniverse, though, there was quite a few things that bugged me on that one. But you know what? The developers have been fantastic on that. Like, I'm like, hey, this is a problem. And they're like, yep, cool. We'll, uh, we'll fix it. And so many things they've fixed. And it's been fantastic. All right. That, to me, is looking not too bad. I feel that we could round it all off. Something like that. This door here. I'm going to keep it as is. Let's go E to extrude point 0.1. I hate you. Let's go G to the X, and we're just going to move it back to about here. Let's go V to rip, control LP, separate by selection. Actually, delete that one there. From here, press F, select that, shift S cursor to selected. And then I'm going to right click set origin to that origin to 3D cursor. So now the origin of my door is here. So obviously when it comes to animating, you know, we've got that, uh, you know, if we actually, let's just animate this door. Actually, let's duplicate this door, rotate 180. Why not? Let's do a little bit of animation. What for? I don't know, because we can. And at frame 60, I'm going to press location. Oh my goodness. And then let's go like frame 70. We could go G to the Y. I'm just going to make sure. Yep, that's going to be minus 12. I hate you. It's going to be minus 13. This one here will be now minus 13. I location. And so we've kind of got this like, yay, wow, that is so cool. However, what I want to do is I'm going to go shift D. I'm going to go frame, let's go frame 90. It's not going to close fully. I'm just going to actually just push this out a little bit. Let's see how this looks. I location. So it's going to slowly close and then I hate you. Why did that not work? Shift D. Oops, shift D minus five. Okie dokie. Meh. I would still slow it down even further, I reckon. If we would go here, scale by two. And because I mean, at the end of the day, the big get stuffed doors. That's way too far still, but it's more that it comes to right close. You know what? I always feel like I could probably go select that vertically. Can we go um, J, T, T? If we go back, no, it's going to go past. Yeah, I think it goes back. T, T, back. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> don't do that. Marco, no. Let's go T, Bezier, Bezier, Bezier. Um, I think if I select both these two, I can go T, bounce. Whatevs. Whoa, geez, there's a bit of a fury chat. Simulation nodes. Yeah, I don't care about nodes. Uh, this one can go through. Uh, uh -huh. Simulation nodes. Yeah, so... Mm. 
So with geometry nodes, like I, I, mm, I understand that, you know, there, there's some pretty cool stuff. Let's put an edge loop through here, edge loop through here. However, for my workflow, I haven't actually really needed I haven't really needed to be using them. Um, let's go like that. I'm going to select this edge. So if I know that everything else is that length, I can select one edge, come at the top here, select, select similar length. And then we can do a control B. And then we can technically select, I hate you so much. Fine, I'll do it this way. No way. Let's quickly select all that. Ooh. And we'll do it on the other side as well. <laughs> Vlad, I don't know if Vlad the Mid is still here, but I'm still laughing at that. Your kid's going, when's he going to start singing? Come on, hang on, last little bits there and there. If I do Alt S, will that fix my, all my problems? Sure does. That's what I wanted. What the heck's that? No. How can I fix that? Alt S, Shift X, Shift Y, Shift Z. Nah, you suck. I hate you so much. Because I can't just scale. Dang it, Bobby. <sighs> you suck. All right, let's do it manually, I guess. Oh, I can't even do it this way. No way. Okay, G, Y, Z, something like that, something beautiful, something like that, all right, let's just do it manually, let's do it here, Nice. I'm just going to select this. V to rip. Control L. Delete vertices. Let's now jump into that mirror modifier. That way, mate. Oh, you daft fat mole. Okay, what about this? Cool. Because we know that's in the right spot. Control A. And that'll bring that up. All right. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> at the end of the day it's hard surface so this is all the stuff that we can get away with but yeah it's uh, it's pretty actually so this piece here is going to be a problem because it's curving like Whoa. wow oh what have i done uh yeah this is going to be my biggest problem because technically yeah, this all needs to be triangulated. Triangle. I hate you. Why would you do that? Control Z. No, oh, there we are. Oh, that was fairly easy. That'll fix that problem. Control T. Yes, that's what it is. Control T. Yeah. Anyway, so that's solved that problem. Control T. I don't use triangulate very often, clearly. Um, but when I do, yeah. And that should fix a whole bunch of problems. Right click, shade auto smooth. So we've got our doors, nice. Technically I probably should do a cut on the inside for these doors. Yeah, but that's not bad. I'm fairly chuffed with that. Mm. 
Okay, let's grab these. Shift D. G. Hold Ctrl. Rotate X. Scale Y minus 1. G. There we go. Is that is that snapped in the right spot? Yes, it is. Nice. Nice. Perfect. And then we'll put another panel over the top. That is not snapped into the right spot. You are full of lies, Marco. That is now snapped into the right spot. And then we've got half. Dang it. Okay. Well, let's do this. To save me from doing stuff. Snap. Nice. Excellent. And if I go Alt-H, you can kind of see how those pieces are. We still got to fill in that. And then we... Jeez, so much stuff. Let's do that. Rotate Z90. G. Cool beans. You need to pop up. Interesting. Welcome, 3 a.m. Mike, welcome. Sorry, 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 sorry. What does triangulating fix that spot? So, because technically, because it's an engon, it's got more than, well, four corners, it will not... Um, it won't know how to triangle it safe correctly. So when you bring it into another application, it's going to be like, I don't freaking know. I'm just going to do whatever. And then that's where you're going to see some faces like clipping over edges and so on and so forth. G to the G, G, G. Vladimir. Uh, yeah, I went from a 1080 to a 3080. And oh my goodness, that was amazing. Um, but yeah. All right. So let's kind of continue on like this. Um, I reckon, actually, what are you doing, Marco? Let's go ahead, delete that, delete that. Rotate Z 180. Itchy ear. Oh. Uh, why are all the layers not used? What are we talking about? What you talk about, Willis? Why I'm not using layers in general? Let's go something like that. Bring it back by one. Ah, oh, it doesn't line up. You suck. That's fine. Whatever. That is slightly annoying. So how are we going to fix that? We're going to break it apart. So I'm just probably going to go like seven. Seven. Shift D to the X. Does that fix my problem? Yes, but I got a two and a half meter hole there, which is fine. Actually, yeah, let's just leave it there. So now we've got that. We've got a four meter high roof. Let's go ahead. And now we can utilize these pieces that we created earlier. Shift D. Period key. Let's go like that. Shift D to the Z. Bring that down. Nice. Um... I think what's the best way for this now? Do we... Do we do just something like that? Yeah, let's just do something like that. And then that'll allow us just to snap this stuff over. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to grab some of these. Shift D. Uh, rotate 180. Okie dokie. Oh, that worked. Sick. I'm just going to go with that. Let's grab these pieces here. The next bit will come along to about here. 
But what we actually need to do is hide that mess there. So let's just bring it over to about here, I think. Pablo, welcome. Welcome, 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 Mr. Pablo. Let's go like that. And then we're going to go like that. There was two there. Oh, Michael as well. Sorry. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think all the layers he means is the outline on the panel. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I haven't bothered about doing that. I mean, technically, you know what? Technically, we're still in the blocking phase, surprisingly enough. Um, what I do want to do, though, is let's add a little bit of extra scale. Yeah, I upgraded to 64 gig of RAM. Yeah, one of the best things I ever did. Uh, let's open up the silver comment. Comment, sorry. And then I'm just going to move everything into the one layer. Let's make sure it's all in the one layer. Oh, actually, a lot of you would not have seen this because you're not on my Discord. Check this out. Let's come to back to the start. So I'm going to do a mini short, like, minute on how to rig these pistons. Let's go like this. Check this hinge out. Even up here as well. So in all its glory. Love it. But that looks sick. Yeah, so it's come along quite nicely. We did a lot last stream. I've just got to go back now and texture it. But I just want to show off those pistons because I was uh, testing some things. And that's just kind of like what came of it. And yeah. I think it looks pretty schmick. So um, I just got to make an attachment for down here. And probably, and obviously for these inside ones. Um, but yeah, I was kind of like doing this all on live stream. So all on live stream on the Discord. Anyway, so back to what I was doing. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe and uh, you'll probably see a very short tutorial on it. Um, from here, I just want to make sure that this is all in the spaceship can i move the interior okay so there's the interior what's all this stuff let's hide the interior and i'm going to come in select all this let's make sure it's all sitting in the right place m under spaceship please under spaceship nice control s uh, let's do an alt h where's my glass alt h ah in here that's fine control s let's just save that still a little bit more work to do to finish it off but you know for, for now it's fine um i'm gonna jump over into nyar nyar let's go file i'm going to link the file i don't want to append the file i just want to link it let's pop out I don't know if I've saved recently. Silver comment. Today, that one, I guess. Let's go link. Collection. Sci-fi spy ship. Seems a little bit small, but no, that's the scale. There we go. Let's bring that up. Um, but yeah, I still kind of want to add in that landing gear. That's what she said. <laughs> I like the lower pistons. That was my inspiration to do the landing gear. If Martin can do it, so I can. <laughs> uh, this is checking this. <laughs> something, something, something piston. Something, something cold water. Something, something pretty deep too. <laughs> Piston Greville set, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I wouldn't mind doing one of them. Um, but yeah, so this here is now we're looking kind of like at the scale of what we are creating. I'm just going to jump to cycles, GPU, let's go into 32, let's go into 128. Uh, let's go into shading. Let's just quickly put some sort of sun thingy mom bobs in here. Markler. World, let's go into a sky. You, sir, go into there. Let's go into a 45 degree. Let's come back into layout and we'll go into rendered view. 
should be blown out galore, which is fine. That's why we come into film. We'll change that to like 0.2. Um, but yeah, so there we go. You can see this is our chap down here. This is the size of the spaceship, and this is kind of like the whole thing. Uh, Mark on 3D, would you include bones in the piston group? I, when I go ahead and create one, yes, I will do all that jazz. Because, I mean, that's such a, like, awesome thing to be go right, put the piston here, put the piston here, parent the piston to this, da da da, -da and then it'll just work. Mm. Absolutely, that's what the plan is. I'm going to snap up these. And let's go Shift D, and we'll snap it to there. Probably from here as well, we could dump in a roof. Wow. Mark and would you? All right. Sweet. Roof. What's the roof panels going to look like? I don't know. Do we? They need to be something nice and simple. Do we just make them kind of like hexagon ish? What are these? Do we, can we see a roof pattern in here? Yep. Sweet. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Yep. I know what I'm going to do. So, the roof is going to look like this. A big, get stuffed roof. Um, let's go something like here. GZ minus... GZ minus 1. GZ 3. Scale 3. And then we've got this nice big cubic McCube cube. This is our centerpiece. GY, oops, didn't snap that. GY, it's gonna go something like that. Let's now throw in an array. Oops, that goes right across. So I reckon, I reckon this is probably too big now. Oh, itchy leg. kind of feel that we could get staffed, bring get staffed, bring these down. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. Let's maybe get it in line. Ah, oh, get stuffed. I missed a the piece. There we go. Let's go to about here-ish. Yeah, something like that. I'm fairly chuffed about. We'll have a slight thing. I reckon maybe we get rid of these. And there are kind of like the main roof pieces are going to cover all this. Nope. You. Nope. You. You delete um, and then from here rotate 90 okay where's the middle where's the middle you are the middle I think you are the middle yeah something like that that's what I'm thinking throw in a little bit of a Beverly McBevel bevel 0.01 yeah perfect and then this is where we can kind of like just put some like pipage and all this kind of jazz up above um let's go ahead and now create big cube g and we can see that we've got like a 10 by 10 all right let's do that let me go like this like this like this like this and then I'm gonna go GZ1 there we go so now the origin point is at the point of the roof itchy legs Malcolm in the middle what just need to settle for only the 
Shiva, welcome. Sorry, missed that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hey, uh, subscribe. Do that, please. Pretty, please? Please. Pretty? Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Lilo Dallas Multipass? <laughs> Oh, gosh. Losing what little plot I had. Uh, let's go Y, something like that. GZ. And then up here. Like so. Let's go GZ. Control L, GZ. Something like that. Love it. Right click, auto smooth. No, 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 no. Flat. Let's go into the bevel now. 0.01. Excellent. Um, and then got to work out what crud thing I got to put in there. Let's now go. Mm, this is going to be interesting. Because that's going to go there. Oh, no. You dog. Oh, no, that's fine. No, 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 that's fine. Oops. There we go. GZ. Like so. Now we throw in another array. One. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Cool. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Rotate Z, uh, like so, and then from here, no, I can't do that, because that would be a felony. <laughs> Let's go like that, one, one, G to the X, like that, Shift D, G to the X. There we go, so if we, Okay, let's get rid of this picture now. If we come into view, what's the thing called? Uh, navigation, walk navigation, uh, actually. Go into something like that, yeah. So once we start adding in some light, once we start adding in some lights, I think then we're gonna be like, mm, Vinny, welcome, 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 welcome. welcome. Wow. Um, but that is coming along fairly nice. There's obviously a few gaps we need to fill in. Uh, how to fill them in? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like this here. How's that going to fill in? Maybe. So you've got to put a door in here. This needs to be some sort of wall. So maybe we might follow the same concept here on these pieces. Let's go Shift D to the X. Something like that. Let's... You know what? Let's just do one at a time. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like so. Delete vertices. Oh, yes. Mm. Let's put an edge loop through here. I'm going to grab that one and that one. Are you in the middle? Can't tell. You're not in the middle. That one. Let's select that edge and that edge. Control I, delete edges. G, X, E to extrude Y, 1, X, 1. And so this is going to be kind of like our default door walls um, period key yeah here we go GX what's the best way that'll go into the center which is fine and then if we kind of just do this that'll cover up all that section even if we come in and apply solidify modifier and we'll go zero. You are a slit. Actually, let's just do it like this. And we'll go bevel 0.01. 
Um, from here, I think I should be able to select all this. Uh, copy modifies. Copy all modifies. Nope. Oh, how do you do that? Copy object link data. There we go. Excellent. So now we've got all these walls that are linked. Shift D. Oops. Let's not do that just yet. I'm going to grab these walls here. And then we're just going to go Shift D, Shift D, hold Control. Nice. And now you can see the importance of creating kind of like a really nice uh, snapping piece. And then everything just kind of like snaps into place. So now we've got these walls in. Uh, what about this? What about a single plane? Yeah, yeah. Probably under here is what I'll do with a single plane. Up here, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll work that out later. Um, definitely one thing we're going to be throwing in here is pipage. So if I were to... <laughs> Let's now go like so. I'm just going to start dumping in some assets. Uh, asset browser. Now, there's a free keep bashing set somewhere in the description. That's got a whole bunch of my assets that you can use. Oh, I love this piece. Okay. All right. All right. This one here. Rotate Z. Let us grab that one there. One of my favorite pieces. Scale Y. And it's just going to go all the way across. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Um, I know I'm looking for specific ones. They're pipes. Here we go. That's the one. This is one of my favorites. Rotate Z. <laughs> Come on, Marco. You know how this works. Um, here. Where's the next section? That. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. There we go. And it's kind of like once we start coming in and we start adding in a whole bunch of pipes, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we should be grouse. Oh, my back. Oh, gosh. Let's have a look. What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. Right. Cool. Hang on. Yep. We're in the right place. Lighting, lighting. What's the lighting going to look like? Do we just go <clears throat> massive LED panels? Ron, Ronnie Nellis, Ronnie Nellis. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Where do Kuda comes? Price come in speed. Still using the lower values. 70. Yeah, an orange light. That's not... Oh, orange light. I am thinking that, Semi. I am thinking a big sodium. Hmm. Hmm. Do we... Uh, shift S. Selection to grid. Ah, oh, stuff, yeah. Let's go... QB McCube Cube. Oh, G. All right, let's think about this. So this is two meters. Scale 0.5 is one meter. I am thinking GZ1. Whoops. I am thinking GZ.5. GZ something like this. Let's go I to do an inset and E up and we'll scale that in. From here, I'm going to select these corners. Control B to do a bevel. And let's go something like that. Now, we're going to create two materials. We're going to go, this one here is going to be um, int light. And we're going to change this to emission. There we go. Let's make sure we select that face and we go assign on that one. Uh, and you reckon a bit of an orangey color. 
we go up to 10. However, for those of you who remember the tunnel tutorial, I do not recommend having a high emission from a texture. It's always important to add that stinking area light in. Perfect, like that. Um, we're gonna go something like that, 500. Let's go ahead and get this into a nice position. GZ, probably about here-ish. Is that sitting on top of anything? I don't know. Okay, maybe straight down the middle on these massive things. Yep, about there. GZ, I'm gonna bring that down. That's where it's gonna be. From here, with that selected, I'm gonna go Alt D, G, X. Uh, let's go like that. I think that's right. Oops, let's go like that. Alt D, G, X. There. Alt D, G, X. Alt D. Now, the reason why I'm using Alt D is because then the uh, everything is linked. So that means if I were to change the light value, it's gonna change the light value for them all, which is awesome. So if we come into rendered mode. All right, all right, all right, we're cooking with gas. Let's select the light and if I go 20,000. Nah, I want it dingy. 2000. Like that. Okay. Nice yellow lights. Lovely. I think that produces enough lighting. This. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go into the sci fi material. I'm just going to destroy this one out. Um, let's go into. Period key, oops, period key. Let's go into object, select all. Uh, let's go into rendered mode. I just want to see how big the, that cornering is. Yeah, let's go 0.01. Control S, Control A, apply the scale. Is that going to be a problem? Nope, that's what we want. Okay. So, what we're going to do is, let's hide that. Where's my character? What the heck is that? Ah. Let's go like so. And we're gonna move into new collection. This is character. My light objects. The first material is going to be the sci-fi material. Beautiful. And then from there, all that, I believe. Did we get everything? Yep. Hide them. Let's now go ahead and select everything. From here, let's just go copy material to selected. Control A, apply the scales. Go suck a lemon, you fat mole. Uh, let's go Alt H now. And then if we kind of come into rendered view, we'll see now that it's a lot darker, a lot dingier. So maybe now we can probably bump it up to, yeah, let's go 4,000, double the lighting. Yeah, that's not bad. Once we add in another layer of it, oh geez, more orange, yeah. Let's go ahead. I'm going to select these. And where's my lights? Let's select all these lights. I'm just gonna go shift D, right? Oh, suck a lemon. Let's go into medium point, rotate Z. 
Uh, where's my center point? My center point's like here-ish. I missed the light. Let's go view delete. Okay, what? How's that work? That works not too bad. Delete, delete. That works pretty stinking good. Uh, because lights for some reason bizarre aren't geometry. Uh, the reason why is because I can't array the lights. So I thought might as well just do it like that. Because I mean, at the end of the day, I still got to copy and paste all the lights over. Okay. So I'm fairly happy with that. How is actually, how is this looking from this direction in here? Mark Uh, if I were to select that period key, I hate you. It's not too bad. I know one thing that I'm going to do. Actually, let's let's fill up all these holes now. We'll do that first. Um, let's kind of just hide this gap. This one? Yep. It's okay. So that gip gip. Zit gip is still hidden. Let's go shift S world origin mesh plane. And let's just kind of like just hide this section in here. Rotate on the Y axis. And we're going to go something like that. G to the Y. This bit down here is just going to be sloppy as. Because I don't really care for it. Hold control. GZ. Oops. EZ, yep, something like that, GZ, hold control, mate, and then I'm going to select this and press F. Did that clip through the ground? It did not, you little ripper. Uh, might as well do the same for this section, F, I said F, and now what I was thinking, okay, what were you thinking, Mark? I'll tell you what I was thinking. If I go right click here, I'm just going to put, just as a test, Shift A, image, light, it's not a sun lamp, Marco, it doesn't work. Point light, GZ, let's so put a point light in here. Let's make this blue. Uh, let's go 2000. What's that going to look like? What's going to make, what's going to be the dynamic down here now? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's hide you, mate. Go away. So we've got to block off this area. I think I've made the lights a bit too orange. Where is the lights? Let's bring it up to about there. Let's go, I'm going to throw in a camera. Control, Alt, Numpad, Zero. Where are you, camera? Here we go. Rotate. Rotate X. Rotate XX. Rotate XX. There we go. Let's just do a quick rendery make render render. You really like sci-fi things? I sure do. Let's fill up the holes now. <laughs> Mangoes. Mango flies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. No worries. Yeah, the channel's like, oh, you know what? That's not bad. I'm okay with this. That doesn't look bad. So this is kind of like now where that community, like, uh, keep bashing set. If we all just dump something in, we've got crud that we can throw in. What I am going to do, just quickly, I am going to open up another one. Cubic cube cube. Let's go into one of the sets for the animated web series that I'm working on.
Now we need space expression. Could you use? Could you have the cut a ship in mid air? What? What? <laughs> the pseudo pseudo cutter ship. What are we? What are we referencing? Which one? Um, the medium frigate. Is that the one we're talking about? Because the medium frigate one's not that big. Why am I opening up the medium frigate? Got us. Welcome. So this is this thing which Marco just finish it off, dude. Just finish it off. Anyway, let me let me just quickly show you. So this is a ship that I was working on last year. I spooky, if you're still here, please just make me finish this thing. Um, this is one of the things that we created on stream a while back. I really want to finish this off. Instead of being on the ground, it could be hovering. Ah, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, maybe. Well, we could always change that. Um, yeah, so this needs to be finished. <sighs> Fire, this is frustrating. Anyway, back to opening up my set. We're going to be going to name, please. Name, please. We're going into the location, which is the mechanics. Let's grab the mechanic. I know. I know. I want to see it finished. Such a good... It looks... Mm, um, I want to grab some assets from here. I want to grab this, this. Let's grab the CNC. Why not? This CNC. Grab that. Uh, is there anything else of importance I can t steal from here? This CNC. Cool. Control C. And we're going to jump back into the other scene. No, not you. Go away. No, not you. Go away. You. Uh, let's go Control V. <laughs> Control V. And I'm just going to move this off to the side. And then we can kind of start. Actually, let's just grab everything because I know they're all sitting on the same plane. GZ. Something like that. Uh, dump in this thing. Because this needs materials still. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be kind of like as if it is a workshop. I mean, all... Is that right? Yep, that's right. And then we can have this one over here. Uh, so this was for a separate project that I was compiling, where I was just creating a whole bunch of random assets. That there, you can go up against the wall. Something like that. So I'm just going to dump a few of these around. Uh, oh, where's that other one? Hang on. i got another one. Let's grab this thing. G? Nope. Let's go ahead now and select everything. Uh, convert to mesh. Control J to join. Control C. Close this file before you save it because I don't want you to save it, Marco. Um, let's do a control V period key. That's fine. G G Z two. And we're just dumping some assets around. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do a render of that now and see what it looks like. Uh, make some of the boxes from the original. Yes, I will. What the heck is that? Oh, that's fine. So you can see, yeah, as we start to kind of like put some of this stuff together. You know what? I'm going to jump into one of the other files while we're here. Let's go into F Drive, 3D Studios. I wanted one of the other ships. Uh, clip runner. Which one's a clip runner? Ah, that's a good one. I'll actually like that one. Uh, Sapphire Parman. 
Small ship, which one's that? Oh, I don't like that ship. <laughs> I don't. I do like that one. That's a pretty good one. A garden, little Theo's sci-fi transport ship. Which one's that? Oh, that's that. Ugh. You know when you look back at some of your old work and you're like, mm, really? Mole transport. What's the mole transport? Oh yeah, that was a failed stream. That one. I remember that one. Uh, sci-fi apartment, sci-fi marketplace interior. Small ship is that one. There should be another small fighter. Medium frigate's the big one. Short range fighter is this ugly one. Yep, cool, perfect. That's the one I want. Uh, Patreon. Applied. Rigged. Applied. Let's grab that one. Why don't you have any of these assets in your library? Because if I start putting all these massive things in the library, or well, I mean, they're not finished anyway. This one here is finished. Um, if I start putting them all in the library, then when I'm loading up blend files, it's just going to take ages for everything to come through. Let's go Alt H. It's just not rigged. Marker, you daft monkey. Oh. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of like the problem with that. Cool. Cool. Um... Come on. Okay. Uh, let's go into pose mode. I just want to quickly change this around. Rotate. Like that. Perfect. Let's go into object mode. Arm, spaceship, collection. I'm going to delete the camera. Control S, rigged. Beautiful. File, link. Uh, go up, up, up. Uh, what was this one called, Marco? What are you doing to yourself, you donkey? Small ship. Medium fear. Short range fighter. There it is. That one. Collection. Collection. Sick. Uh, GZ2. GZ1. That. All right, there we go. <laughs> what? No, I don't like that. Such a beautiful ship. I love the back one. This one here, eh. It's okay. Yep, beautiful. Let's just go like that. Needs to be optimized. Absolutely. Like, uh, I made the mistake of having... I think the forestation add-on and all the assets in the asset library. Oh boy, that was... Every time opening up a blend file, I wanted to punch myself in the face. I mean, it's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So for those who are interested, I will make a YouTube post in coming up. Um, I reckon let's create a community library, upload it, everyone's got access to it. So, okay, so this is the plan, which I was talking about earlier at the start. So I wanna start making a community asset library where we're gonna compile everyone's like greebles, you know, like five, six pieces, whatever. We're gonna have the person's name and then whatever social media handle they wanna add. And then, so when you open up the files, you can clearly see who's done what, da 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 da. And then that's how we can share assets. Because I mean, it'd be cool if I could just throw all this in, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I am liking it. I wish, hmm. There's still a big hole here. But other than that, you know what? Should be right, mate, eh? Uh, more details, yeah, absolutely. Throwing in more kit bashing stuff, details on the wall, you know, maybe uh, have everything a little bit lighter. Absolutely, it would look a way better. 
But I think I might upload the building as is and then have a separate file with the individual items. Um, and then let's go like that. I'm, I got school tomorrow. Um, and I got my other machine that I'm working on. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll make a post. Uh, where am I going to put it? I can't put it. I'll put it on the Discord. So let me just quickly link the Discord. And I will make a post about the machine that I'm actually working on. I can't, my goodness, I can't post on my own channel. Control V. Let's do a post in general. Bear with me. Just uh, put a sneaker post in general. Um, so I'm going to call it a night now, but I'm going to jump into the Discord. So if you want to have a chat, I'm going to stay on there for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go jump into my Discord. I'm going to talk there for a little bit. Come say hi. Link in the links right there. Um, but yeah, I got to work on that machine. So thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. It was pretty good, pretty good stream. I actually had a few people this time around. Much better. There we go. Look, it's a nice graph. Hopefully we can make it a little bit better next time. Uh, but yeah, let's go over there. Thank you very much. Come onto Discord if you want. If not, have a good weekend. Mine's pretty much finished now because it's you know almost midnight. But yeah, thank you very much. Guys.